The Detroit Grand Prix will return to the state at the end of the month. And this year, the race will have a West Michigan feel to it. 13 on your sides, Brent Ashcroft has more on the upcoming event. In just a few weeks, Belle Isle will be buzzing as the green flag falls on the 30th edition of the Detroit Grand Prix. The doubleheader weekend will continue for a seventh consecutive year with two full points paying races. It's also the eighth straight year the event will unfold the weekend after the Indianapolis 500. Indy isn't far from Detroit, so the field is shaping up to showcase some of the biggest names in IndyCar. Well, in Detroit, since we do have two races, it's, it's worth the same amount of points combined that it is in Indy. So that two week, that two week span in the IndyCar series is very important to their championship hopes because you have double points in Indianapolis and you have double points in Detroit. The race will have a West Michigan flavor. Grand Rapids native and Holland resident Mark Miller, who runs in the Trans Am series, will drive his number 40 Dodge Challenger. When Miller ran on the CART series, he won multiple national titles, including the U.S. Rotax Championship in 2008. He's raced on world-renowned tracks like Le Mans, Circuit of the Americas, and Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. He's looking forward to competing in his home state. The Detroit Grand Prix is special to me just because it is in my home state as a Michigan-based race driver uh, for family and friends to be able to come see me race. Uh, at the venue live is pretty special. And we should mention Mark Miller is currently the points leader in his Trans Am racing class. The Detroit Grand Prix is a three day event. It runs May 31st through June 2nd. Friday, May 31st is free. So keep that in mind. You can get tickets right now at DetroitGP.com. In downtown Grand Rapids, Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side sports.